hurling insults but cheers and in some cases exchanging not only words but blows. Sadly, as evidence at a funds drive at the Gitui Catholic Church earlier today, the Kieleweke and Tangatanga factions of the ruling Jubilee Party have reduced houses of worship into battlegrounds. The church no longer a place to find solace or common ground. Olive Burroughs tells us why. And God said unto Moses, Take off your shoes, for the ground on which you stand is holy. Exodus 3.5 but not only did the Kiharu member of parliament, Ndindi Nyoro, and his nominated counterpart, Maina Kamanda, drag their dirty laundry into the house of the Lord on Sunday, they turned it into a marketplace. As the so-called Tangatanga and Keleweke factions of the Jubilee Party have been doing for months. A desecration which so incensed the Son of God that he took a whip to those who showed no regard for the sanctity of his father's house. <laughs> president Uhuru Kenyatta's self-appointed crusaders and Deputy President William Ruto's travel companions habitually turning the pulpit into a podium from which they preach not love but intolerance. <laughs> The warring factions reached a new low when the exchange of words degenerated into a brawl in a clash of egos. Nero and Commander jostling for the microphone as they pointed accusatory fingers at each other for breaching protocol. <laughs> The political class turning houses of worship into campaign rallies as the church leadership silence is sometimes bought for 30 pieces of silver. We have seen today that you do not even respect church. Olive Barrows, 